auto resume and auto suspend are two very important properties that can be ignored if we are just learning Snowflake and using trial edition. when we are part of any large enterprise environment where there are a lot of projects having different kind of workloads and each project has their own set of compute resources, if this parameter is not thought through properly, it may cost a lot. So let's go deeper and understand what these two properties are and how it impacts the cost. Let's say we are running a copy activity and the requirement says as soon as the file arrives to the external storage, a copy command should be executed and to run this copy command we have to use the load virtual warehouse when we created the virtual warehouse we kept the auto resume and auto suspend properties as a default values let's say the file arrives at 12 midnight as soon as the copy command is triggered the snowflake will check the warehouse property and since auto resume property is set to true it will activate the warehouse from its suspended state and when the warehouse is changing its state from suspended to activate, this duration is called a warm-up time. For the compute with one node cluster like extra small, this warm-up time would be few milliseconds and you would not even notice. For a large compute which may have 8 node cluster or 16 nodes cluster, it may go up to 10 to 12 seconds too. Now, the default auto suspend parameter is 5 minutes equals to 300 seconds. This virtual warehouse which just started running will be active for next 5 minutes even if there is no workload running. So if your copy command is taking 30 seconds or maybe 90 seconds, the workload cost will be equal to the virtual warehouse uptime and in this case close to 300 seconds. So this is very important property and for a large enterprise it has to be checked on a regular basis and we need to make sure that this property is set as per your workload size and how many parallel workload is running at the same given time. Try to run as many as workload with the same window to get the maximum utilization of your virtual warehouses and minimize the idle period. I hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.